Welcome back to our channels, Warriors. We are still growing. If you haven't had that guy who's always asking dumb fucking questions at the end of the class when it's time to go home, smash that subscribe button. Go ahead and have them smash it right now. Now, let me give a shout out to our patrons. Yesterday, I was giving a free ebook for those that signed up through the email. It was a success, so I'm going to extend it one more day. If you sign up today for the Patreon, go ahead and hit that link in the description below. I'm going to email you an ebook copy of my book, Operation Yard Recall. You do not want to miss out. This episode right here, man, I'm going to call it the good old boy system. What the hell do you mean by that, Hector? Well, I'm going to tell you some of the changes that I personally witnessed with my own eyes through my experience having worked in the California Department of Corrections for 16 years as an officer, a sergeant, and a lieutenant. Right, so here we go. Yesterday I mentioned that I caught the tail end of the good old days. Well, what does that mean? Okay, well, what that means is coming in in 2006 at Sentinella State Prison, I think prisons matter at that time. No, they definitely mattered at that time, and here's why. Yesterday, I also mentioned SOMS, the, the database computer, p things going from C files. Now, this is from my experience. This is what I've seen 100%. Before things were on the computer, right, I forgot to mention them being on the computer, Sacramento has headquarters for California, has full vision, view of the databases so they can see what incidents are going on real time they can see who which inmates getting disciplinary real time yada 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 you can see what i'm i'm referring to here prior to that there was no centralized each prison ran by their own each prison ran on their own straight up like how are you gonna this think about it 2006 man cell phones were like what do you have the iphone one maybe two I know for sure the iPod came out like in 04, the first edition. So, man, if you had a good fucking warden, you had a good prison, right? And and a, probably every prison was good at that point. Probably, right? You, uh, they didn't have to answer to anybody, right? The phone could be ringing. Who's this? Ah, oh, this is my dumb fucking boss in Sacramento. I'm not answering this fucking phone. Right, it's like, <laughs> probably in Sacramento headquarters, they were probably like, hey, handle your business, whatever, like, but then things changed, big time. So the good old boy system, well, what the hell were you guys doing, Hector, were you guys getting away with the Wild Wild West? Nah, I was in Iraq in 2004, that was the Wild Wild West, right? This was more, and, and I've told you guys, this was more like, Okay, not trying to burn staff for looking the wrong way, right? Things were one way, now things have gone too far that it's just Department of Corruptions as some of you guys refer it to. If there was an incident in the building, the Charlie Yard level four uh, Sentinella, Whatever happened in the building, whatever got reported to the sergeant, in turn, got forwarded up to the lieutenant, right? The lieutenant would like, look, okay, everything on this paper makes sense to me, like, and then shoot it up the chain, right? That's what it looked like. Scrutiny? No. Buffoonery? No. Now, you guys have known me long enough that... And my style, I'm not the only dude with my style, right? There's other people out there with my style. So you know we're not going to be in there just fucking dropping the hammer and wreaking havoc, right? Because we have to work there. The, the goal was prolonged. The goal was 28 years prolonged, right? I ain't trying to fuck off my time. <laughs> Told you guys, we're both in there, right? You go in there trying to be a hard ass, you're going you're gonna to get dealt with, right? By your peers, by the inmates, by your supervisors. So there was self-control and whatever you want to call it. 
checks and balances. But the unnecessary scrutiny that just fucked everything all up, right, where you have officers so damn scared to show up to work now because they're just, am I going to get fired today? Am I going to get fired today? That was me as a lieutenant at RJD. That was me as a sergeant at RJD, Donovan. Am I going to get fired today? And for what? I know that I'm not going to do nothing wrong. But whatever the administration was going to twist, turn for whatever personal agendas and motives that they had to promote up the chain, to make an example, to sacrifice somebody. That's what I'm talking about. So now you guys have gathered the totality of the circumstances. When Sacramento was able to see, no, control. When Sacramento was able to control every warden. But I'm pretty sure you had wardens. I think I've heard even heard stories just telling the fucking uh, up there. Hey, man, fuck off. I'm running my prison down here. Stay in your lane, man. Stay in your lane. And again, that was what, the 90s, the 2000s. I came in in 2006. The good old boy system. Now that's the crazy thing that I saw. I saw, and you got the current warden of Mule Creek State Prison, who happened to be an actor at Donovan that was doing some janky ass BS, right? I was telling, telling you guys, he would tell us to drag, drag the inmate from ADSEG to Alpha Yard just because he wanted to please Sacramento and do the whole non-designated program. First of all, we don't drag inmates, right? We stopped dragging inmates. Matter of fact, I don't think I ever, came, when I came into the department, we were dragging inmates. But somehow, this is the change that I'm telling you. You had dudes, oh boy, did I hear some stories about that guy at Ironwood State Prison, right? So you had all these, at the time, they were lieutenants at this time. 2000s. 2005, six. Now these guys have climbed up the chain of command, right? They were wild with it. They were, they were fucking turned up, right? Doing stupid shit. And now all of a sudden you get a uh, chief deputy warden position. Watch, look at the time frame that I'm telling you guys. You get a warden position acting and now you're, you know, <laughs> sucking the you know what from above. And now you're you're you you've gone too far, right? You told you now you're telling us to drag inmates. You're burning us for nothing. When when you were a lieutenant, you were doing some dumb shady stuff, right? Beating up people in the front yards and so on and so on. From what I've heard, so that was not cool to see, right? That went through a phase, like. You had the wardens with no control. I think I figured out the problem. The problem is Sacramento headquarters, right? You got a clean house from the top down. No point in telling the governor because he's the ones telling these guys what to do, right? Gruesome Newsome. It's been a while. What's up, my boy? So, sometimes I just got to put myself on the map. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I just, I don't know, man. I get an itch, you know, not that kind of itch either. So, you have the wardens controlling their own prisons things were good back then was it violent yeah was it necessary violence maybe was it was it was it off the hook like it is right now with with the way things are around no not at all then you had the turning phase when i saw sacramento take over with through psalms they were able to see everything control everything hey you will bring your ass up to sacramento and you will listen to what the hell I have to say, right? Because I think I'm a somebody. Things started taking a turn for the worse, right? Then it just went full, full, what do they call it? Full, you know what I mean, turned up. Then the whole thing of office technicians promoting to associate warden. Plumbers promoting to associate warden. Teachers promoting to associate warden. Cooks promoting associate warden. Guys that never wore the uniform, right? I'll even go to as far as to say that that in itself is not bad. That in itself. What is fucking bad 
is when these moron buffoons are going wild with it and somebody like me, somebody like my peers with some common sense tells them, hey, hey, you don't, don't, sir, with all due respect, you don't want to do that. And they shut you down, double down, triple down, threaten to put you under investigation for insubordination. That's where the problem is. I ain't never heard of anybody that didn't take any fucking advice like the California Department of Corrections. That's another one of the major problems. Like, you will never catch your boy Hector Provo put on a white lab coat suit, go to the fucking doctor's operating room, grab a scalpel, and act like I know what I'm doing. Ain't gonna happen, right? It's never gonna happen. I couldn't even fathom that type of mentality. Well, that's the type of managers you have today. Slicing, dicing, chopping people up, pulling guts out, and when they, when the when the patient dies, they look at the first fucking nurse and say, "You did this." <laughs> Fuck you mean I did this? You did this. You're fired. You see how things have changed, right? And the other day, I put something out there too on my Instagram. I'm like, "Hey, man, if you guys want to see real change, right? You guys want to see real change." Each individual has to stand up for what is right. Each individual has to, I don't know what you want to call it, blow the whistle. It's not even blowing the whistle. It's just bringing to light. Bringing to light what is transpiring inside still, right? Is it going to cost something? Yes, of course. If you're afraid of paperwork, LOIs, let me be the one to tell you. I got like 40 to 45 LOIs in my career. Fucking 40... Four of those are at RJD Donovan, right? So, with that, the message for today is, what do they call it? Micronism, microism. The California Department is just a small microism of what's actually transpiring in the world, right? And without diving into politics, you can see, turn on the news, you'll know what time it is. If you do not stand up for yourself, You're going to lose what you got going for you. And you have a good thing going for you. A career with the California career with the California Department of Corrections is a great thing, right? In itself. The people running the show to the ground is what the problem is. Keep pushing forward.